What's up y'all? Today I'm going to teach you how to do the dum-dum behind the boat. The tricks you're going to want to already know how to do before attempting the dum-dum would definitely be a tootsie roll and also maybe a toe side backside 360 would help. I personally learned the dum-dum first before the toe side backside three, but I don't think that's very common. So yeah, these two tricks are probably the best ones to already know how to do. I do have a tutorial for both of these tricks on the channel. So if you do want to check them out, feel free. The approach you're going to want to take on this trick, I personally prefer to kind of get pretty wide away from the wakes and I kind of prefer a medium-ish hard edge some people kind of like a medium edge but in my personal opinion I like to kind of take a bit harder of one it's really up to your own personal preference sometimes with the harder edge for me it kind of helps me flip more and kind of keeps me from slipping on my butt so that's just kind of why I take the harder edge now that you're on that medium edge or the hard edge or the medium-ish hardish edge, whichever edge you sort of prefer going in towards the wakes, so you're gonna to wanna to be kind of squatted. Continue that edge all the way up through the very top of the wake. As you're getting closer towards the top of the wake, you're gonna to wanna to stand nice and tall and really initiate that front roll, really initiate that tripping motion off the wake to really get your flip started. Now that you've initiated that flipping motion, this stage of the trick is gonna be exactly the same as the Tootsie Roll, but this time you're gonna to wanna to do things a lot more aggressive. Instead of just pulling this handle to your lower back, you're really gonna to wanna to give it a solid rip, really pull it a lot harder to that lower back. Also, instead of just looking over your rear shoulder like this, you're really gonna to wanna to take those shoulders and give them a solid turn, really look over that rear shoulder and pull this handle to your lower back as early as possible and start looking for that handle nice and early just so you have enough momentum to finish that backside 360. Now that you've completed that handle pass by ripping that handle to your lower back, looking over your rear shoulder, and really just passing that handle on over to your other hand, the trick isn't done here like you normally would be on your Tootsie Roll. As soon as that handle gets into this hand, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you continue ripping that handle all the way over to your front hip once again. And once it gets there, make sure you set that handle back into your front hand. You can spot your landing right here, bend your knees on impact, and just right away, edging away from the boat on your toes. One mistake I see people make when attempting the dum-dum is they actually try and do a Tootsie Roll and then add the other 180 from there. I do think that this kind of makes you not finish your rotation. You really just gotta be committed to the dum-dum before you start your trick. And you can just make sure that you're ripping the handle around nice and early because if you do do a Tootsie Roll first and then think if you have enough time, it's normally too late and you'll only get to about 270 and you'll end up kind of like slipping on your butt or just not really rotating enough. Also, another problem I see is just a ton of people slipping back on their butt. You really just want to make sure you get that chest over your toes so you don't fall back. Another thing would be that harder edge like I say I take so I can trip harder off the wake to get a little bit more flip out of it so I can make sure I'm more over my toes. Just make sure you get that chest over your toes so you're not slipping on your butt. It'll make things a bit easier. I'm just gonna give you a quick little summary of the entire trick. Make sure you take kind of a wide approach and take sort of a medium-ish, hardish edge back in towards the wakes. Make sure you edge all the way through the very top of the wake and also stand nice and tall off the top of the wake to get a nice trip to start that front roll rotation. Now that you've started that flipping motion off the top of the wake, make sure you take that handle and rip it towards your lower back. Make sure you look over your rear shoulder, turn that upper body to get that backside 360 rotation started make sure you start looking for the handle nice and early with that rear hand once you've passed it over continue ripping that handle all the way over to your front hip again and make sure you finish that 360 grab it with your front hand spot your landing bend your knees on impact and ride away from the boat edging on your toes
that's how you do a dum dum. If you guys like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Comment below what kind of videos you guys want to see in the future and what kind of tricks you guys want to learn in the future. And remember, I'll be uploading a wakeboarding video every second day forever. So make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Peace.